Welcome. Today is the 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time, World Day of the Poor. And it is November, a time for us to remember and pray for those who have died. We are on a synodal journey and Pope Francis has called us to speak with courage and boldness, integrating freedom, truth and love. Let us be mindful of this call to speak with courage as we prepare to celebrate today's liturgy. Let us take a few moments of silence to prepare for this celebration. Our celebrant is our parish priest, Father Mario Dorado. Let's join in singing our entrance hymn. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing. Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. Give me joy in my heart, I pray. Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. Keep me praising till the end of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Give me peace in my heart, keep me resting. Give me peace in my heart, I pray. Give me peace in my heart, keep me praising. Keep me praising till the end of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Greetings of peace and joy to everyone there in your in front of your screen. And as we are celebrating the 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time, let us include in our prayers all our brothers and sisters who are sick at this moment, those people who are asking us to pray for them. And as you have seen, it's still in front of our altar, these uh, symbols uh, rem remembering all our faithful departed so let us try our very best to remember them in this month of November. And continue to send the names of your departed brothers and sisters. We will write them in a piece of paper and then put them then in that little box where we are always praying for them, especially in this month of November. So gather together now as a family and as a community. Let us celebrate in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So, sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge all our sins. And let us ask for God's mercy and for His wonderful forgiveness. And we all pray together, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my, through my most grievous fault. fault. 
Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify, we glorify you, you. We, we give, give you thanks for your, for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten, begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, that constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy, the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Daniel. In those days, I, Daniel, heard this word of the Lord. At that time, there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time unsurpassed in distress, since nations began until that time. At that time, your people shall escape, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. Others shall be in everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly, like the splendor of the firmament. And those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The Word of the Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently those same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer offering for sin. 
The Word of the Lord. Please stand for the Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus spoke to his disciples about the end which is to come. In those days after the time of suffering, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from heaven, and powers in heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. Then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the false winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. From the fig tree, learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, so also when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about the day or hour no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, all of the readings during this 33rd Sunday of the year brings to us, bring to our attention some of the events that will happen at the end time, or more precisely, the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, his coming in glory. So that the first reading and the gospel reading give us graphic description of how this end time will come. According to Jesus, it will be preceded by kind of persecutions, kind of trials that will shake many faith of the people on earth, and even some signs from heavens like the moon, like the sun, and all of this will lead to destruction. Yes, my brothers and sisters, the end time will surely come and will certainly preceded by all of these events, as Jesus told us in the Gospel of today. But how? How do we face this according to Jesus? Jesus Christ encouraged his apostles or disciples and us that when we see all these things, we have also to have that kind of grace, the ability to read signs of the times. Like the lesson of the fig tree said, when, they, when you see that the leaves are growing, you know that summer is coming. So we have that kind of spirit of discernment of how to read the signs of the times. But these signs of the coming, the end time, the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, are signs for us to be reminded of the event. Because oftentimes, we focus more on the signs, not to the event that is to come, 
no other than the end time that is coming of Jesus Christ, the coming of the Son of Man in glory. He will come to give us that gift of salvation. And this uh, kind of challenge that is being posted to us by Jesus Christ is that we have to be alerted not so much on the signs that are going to happen because if this will be our focus, we will be, some of us will be depressed, some of us will be unhappy or have that kind of element of fear. But if we focus to that event that is coming no other than Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, who will grant us the gift of salvation, who will bring to us the fullness of time, no other than that giving of, to us the gift of salvation, then our fear will be lessened. Because even the early times, the early beginning of the church, the prayer of the community was, Come, Lord Jesus, do not delay. So that should be our expectation with hope that Jesus is coming to us. Yes, my brothers and sisters, in the Holy Mass, when the priest says the mystery of our faith, we proclaim, we respond, we proclaim your death, O Lord, we profess your resurrection until you come again. So our hearts on our minds are turned to this event, the return of our Lord Jesus Christ in glory, with the hope in anticipation that this gift of salvation will be granted to us. So brothers and sisters, this is the challenge that Jesus Christ is post posting to us in what we heard from the gospel of today. So may we have that kind of grace to continue preparing ourselves, watching and waiting for that day, the fulfillment of the promise of Jesus Christ coming to us in glory, the end time, his second coming. So, brothers and sisters, let us now have our proclamation of faith as we all pray together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, and by the Holy Spirit and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and, and I, I look forward, forward to the resurrection of the, of the dead and the life of, of the, the world, world to come. Amen. Amen. At the end of time, God will send his angels to gather his chosen ones in his kingdom. So as we pray for all human needs, we ask God that we may be found ready to face him on his return. For the church. 
that all members of the church embrace the mission entrusted to us, proclaim the good news and care for those in need. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Synod, that we be encouraged in this Synod journey to speak with courage and boldness, integrating freedom, truth and love. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they will strive for peace and understanding in places where there is war or civil unrest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those starving in other lands, that the eyes of the world will turn toward those who are starving and that all peoples resolve to address iniquities and distribute wealth justly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died as a result of violence or accident and their families, that those who have died may have eternal rest, that violence will turn to peace, aggression to charity, and injury to calm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are blessed with wealth in this world, that their hearts be opened to sharing with the poor, the hungry and the homeless. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are poor, that they will have food, water, housing, education, and the means to live fully dignified and meaningful lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves, that we be ever more fully instruments of Christ's light and love. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We bow our heads and remember in silence our own personal intentions and the intentions of those who have asked for our prayers. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Hear our prayer. Lord God, we do not know the hour of your coming, but we are certain that your love will never fail us. Keep us vigilant in hope, and may we welcome you now in our hearts. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray now, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born with the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. So make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim Amen. your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patrick, and Michael, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all of thine your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we merit to be co-heirs eternal life and we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now, at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Sisters and brothers, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sisters and brothers, I, it is a good news maybe or a sad news for us, but I just would like you to listen to what my brother here will tell you, Father Severino. My brothers and sisters, at this point in time, I would like to thank God first of all for the moment of grace that he has shared with me by uh, staying with you even for a very short while, short time. And during my very limited stay with you, I have uh, experienced how Father Mario is being supported, or first of all, how he is uh, 
doing his ministry, pastoral ministry with you, and how he is being supported and loved by you, uh, being a friend and being your past, um, leader, spiritual leader in your parish community. So thank God for this. And secondly, I would like also to thank my Capuchin brothers here at uh, uh, New Zealand, delegate of New Zealand, through the leadership of Father Sebastian Fernandez, and most especially in particular, Father uh, Mario, of how they have supported during my stay with you here at uh, Black, Black House Bay. During my stay with you here, with uh, the guidance of Father Mayo, and with that uh, accompaniment, that happy accompaniment of Father Mayo with me, especially during this uh, lockdown mood, I really, I am overwhelmed by the love and support that you have extended to him and to me, to us, especially of uh, sharing yourselves with us and sharing all those uh, supports and food, yummy food that you are uh, regularly giving to us. I have enjoyed uh, tasting all of this uh, yummy food that you have shared with him and you have shared with the two of us. Thank you very much for that. And of course, I would like to thank you for your uh, friendship and for that very good uh, experience of your fellowship, community spirit of community spirit in this par promise uh, in this parish, especially of your uh, very open and very of accepting me, of accepting me also in this time of my stay with you. So time is so quick. So I just pray that I will have another chance of being with you sometime in the very near future. So I have been assigned already as Paris priest at Leichhardt in Sydney, and my superior there, Caput of the Capuchins in Australia, have processed my going, going back or return to Sydney, and I feel sad about it, but also with hope that God works in a mysterious way in each and every one of us, and to me, my new in my new journey, being your friend and being also a brother of Father Mario as a, pari a priest. So, for all that has been and for all that will be, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, my brother. Um, well, it is, just, it is not a goodbye, but it is still we meet again. As what the Italian, he will be in an Italian parish. So he will be saying, Arrivederci, means till we meet again, not goodbye. Okay? So, Arrivederci, or au revoir, or in Ciao. French. Okay? Ciao. Okay. But the good thing is, um, on behalf of the parish of St. Dominic, on behalf of our parish community, Thank you for being with us. Thank you, thank you for gracing uh, this parish and our community with your sharing, with your homilies, and much more with your beautiful smile. So thank you very much for that. So we will be praying for you, and we are hoping that you will come back again and be with us in our uh, faith journey, especially here in our parish. Sure. Good. And so for uh, my little takeaway, I remember a pastor that he told these people, so next Sunday, I would like, before next Sunday, I would like you to read the 17th chapter of the Gospel of Mark. Okay. After a week, so celebrating the Mass, he asked the people, so may I know by raising your hands who read the 17th chapter of the Gospel of Mark, and almost everybody in the congregation raised their hands. Very good. According to the parish priest, very good. I think you are the right audience for me. Because my topic for today is about liars. 
And the Gospel of Mark has only 16 chapters. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we do hear a lot of fake news, bad news coming around. But as we have gotten from the preaching of Father Severino, that remember, don't concentrate so much on the uh, things, calamities, bad news that are coming around. Always concentrate on the positive things because Really, the coming of Jesus is a big hope for us. That word hope should always be here in our mind. And even in this uh, pandemic here in New Zealand, as we are now on level three, stage two or step two, I know there are so much worries, anxieties, fear, and people are afraid of what is coming to happen. Let us hope for the best. The best is yet to come. And there are so many things going on, so many positive things coming, and so many good things that our people are doing. So let us try our very best to be positive in the way we look at things. Let us continue to be obedient to our government, but much more, let us always be obedient to God. Let us continue to pray for one another, and let us continue to support one another. And we will be praying for, for uh, all of us. And as we pray for each one of us, I do believe that prayer makes all things possible. And our faith will testify that really God is a God who loves us. It is a God of hope, a God of faithfulness, and a God who loves us so much. Thank you again for coming into this celebration. Hope to see you again next Sunday. And remember... Next Sunday is already Christ the King, the end of the liturgical year. And may our Lord Jesus Christ as the King of the universe give us the opportunity to celebrate more and more the goodness of God in our lives. Please join me to have the prayer during this time of pandemic and the prayer for healing. Lord Jesus Christ, you travel through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. At your command, the sick were made well. Come to our aid during this time of pandemic that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they regain their strength. May those who have died from the virus rest in peace and through your mercy rise in glory. Be with the loved ones of those who are sick or have died. As they worry and grieve, protect them from illness and despair. Be with the doctors, nurses, researchers, and all medical professionals who seek to heal and help those affected and who put themselves at risk in the process. May they know your protection and peace. Be with the leaders of all nations, Give them the foresight to act with prudence and charity for the well-being of the people they are called to serve. Stay with us, Lord, and grant us your peace. Amen. Lord, you invite all who are burdened to come to you. Allow your healing hand to heal me. Touch my soul with your compassion for others. Touch my heart with your courage and infinite love for all. Touch my mind with your wisdom, and may my mouth always proclaim your praise. Teach me to reach out to you in all my needs, and help me to lead others to you by my example. Most loving heart of Jesus, bring me health in body and spirit, that I may serve you with all my strength. Touch gently this life, which you have created now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and proclaim the goodness of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Every tiny star that twinkles in the night sky Every drop of morning dew Every spark of fire 
Blazing in the furnace Every captivating view Every rainbow in the sky Every pretty butterfly Tells a fascinating news To those who dare to hold And the message is God still loves the world God still, still loves the world So throw your life into His hands Day by day discern His plans God is passionately feels in loving you and me God is passionately busy loving you and me Every ocean wave that breaks upon the seashore Every stalk of golden wheat Every silver stream that gushes down the mountains Every drop of honey sweet Every eagle flying high Every worm that wriggles by Tells a fascinating news to those who dare to hold And the message is God still loves the world God still, still loves the world Throw your life into His hands Day by day discern His plans God is passionately busy loving you and me God is passionately busy loving you and me Every man and woman pledge in love forever Every little newborn child Every voice of favor of a needy neighbor Every radiating smile Every hand that offers love Every flowing flow of blood Tells a fascinating news to those who dare to hold and the message is God still loves the world God still, still loves the world So throw your life into His hands Day by day discern His plan God is passionately busy loving you and me God is passionately busy loving you and me God still loves the world God still, still loves the world So throw your life into His hands Day by day discern His plans God is passionately busy loving you and me God is passionately busy loving you and me